Colston Deep Level Shelter near Croydon in London. Around the time of World War II, Surrey County Council commissioned the building of four deep shelters. Colston's Deep Shelter was the fourth and was built in the grounds of the Cane Hill Asylum. After the war, the shelter was purchased by Cox, Hargreaves and Thompson Limited, who specialised in the manufacture of optical devices, mainly lenses for huge telescopes. They purchased the tunnels as it provided the ideal atmosphere for the production of the lenses. A constant temperature meant that they did not expand or contract during the grinding process. However, the main drawback of the tunnels was the old and damp conditions within them. This played havoc with the corroding of equipment and the morale of the workforce. To combat this, the company brought a refrigerator and wired it backwards so that it could act as a crude air conditioning unit. Well, what, what would you rather be doing today? Walking around a foggy old shitty, shitty part of Croydon or meeting up with Glenn, hey. there he is, <laughs> and going to a bunker which is down there, that way. So we've been told about it and it's a bit of a legend this, Glenn knew about it before I did because you've been out trying to get in this place for years, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, it, it seems to always get sealed up as soon as it's open this one, so uh, you know. We've had a good tip off that it's open today, so yep. we're going to hit it up. Yeah, I, I told some lads about it and they went and did it. So I, I basically had the heads up, yes, it is available. So fingers crossed. They were in there yesterday. I don't think anything's going to happen in, uh, what, 12 hours? <laughs> <laughs> fingers crossed. So bloody noisy, isn't it? Frigging Croydon. Anybody want to live here? Nice, isn't it? See you in the bunker. You can imagine when the um, when the bunker was here, this would have just all been filled. It would have been the most serene, quiet place ever. Yeah. And now look at it. Yeah, yeah. Awful. So I don't know. Maybe I won't show the entrance because you might get over by idiots so we'll have to see but right so we're on a bit of a path in I'm gonna check my check my sat nav and see if it takes us to the same place uh, there you are what's going on here Ooh, some interesting uh, holes and bits and pieces. It's like some subsidence or something. Whoa, yeah, straight away. We had no trouble finding that. Oh my God. Ah, that's pretty interesting then, isn't it? So no problems there at all. Let's see how accurate my, um, my pin was. Yeah, yeah, small patch of uh, small patch of forestry, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's good then. Once you know the rough location, you're definitely gonna spot it. Yeah. 
Yeah. I saw it glistening from the uh, the road. I thought, is that it? I just got to have a quick look. Yeah. Well, yeah. you see that bit, you think, oh, that's just subsided earth, and then when you get closer, you see that bit. <laughs> so that's good. Oh, look, Whoa, out. valves. Yeah. That's an amplifier. That's a shame, isn't it? That's a proper amp. Yeah. yeah. Valve amp. Well, hopefully there's some more bits down there. Yeah. I'm sure there will be. So. Fingers crossed. Uh, some more people are going to turn up. We're going to meet with Benno and uh, Jordan from Beface Computing and Benno from Benno. Yeah, keep it simple, isn't it? Benno. Yeah, that's it. Benno. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Ooh, so we have to get the old gloves on, get the head torch out, and get in there. Right, so how are we doing then? What we got going on? FPV follow mode. There we are. So this is the this is the way in. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a crawl. So I'm going to go in head first or butt first. Get my get my camera bag in and push. I think it seems to be the easiest way sometimes. So let's push the camera bag in. Your fat buggers ain't gonna get in here, I know that. Ugh, if you've got a bit of a belly on you, you might not be able to do that. Oh, but, oh here we go. So let's have a look, first impressions. First impressions, yeah. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Whoa. It's quite dry inside. Oh, you have to stick on your blood. Ah, sorry. You have to bloody go on sharp bits of stone, don't you? Whoa, there we go. Hmm. So that's the outdoor way. Get me bag on. Get me bag on. <laughs> Sale, $26.99. Mountain warehouse. Whoa, magical garden, whatever that is. So, Glenn's getting ready. Come down here. I need to take my hat off. Stash my hat. It's one of those, uh, it's one of those concreted ones that they probably chiseled it out of the hill and then dropped the concrete on and then filled the hill back in on top. Wow, these look like gates, yeah. These are like old gates. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wow. There's even, there's even an electrical something down there on the side. I don't know what that is about. Is it like a sensor, an alarm or something? Can you see it? See it there? Hmm. Here he is. It's the Glenus. Yeah, these are gates here. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. There's even some sort of weird like alarm sensor on the side. It's like an old, it must be something old. You see? Oh, okay. Right down the back I don't know what there, that yeah. is. It might be a light switch perhaps, or yeah, it looks yeah. like it's a little bit too close to where the gate's opening and closing. It's like as if it's sensing something. Weird. Whoa. Huh. It's a bloody saw down there. Why do you leave a saw in you? Good saw as well. Why would you throw away a saw like that? <laughs> wow, okay. Ooh, is this roof coming in? Wow. Ooh, oh dear. Whoops, a daisy. Is that roof's coming in? Ooh. Look, they've shored it up in a couple of places. That is bent in. Wow. Not not very good. So hmm. yeah. come round the Yeah, come round the corner and then we got 
Mm -hmm. of eye beams and that looked like it was a hatch at one point yeah so they may have had a hatch to the surface if we go up on the surface we might spot where that was no we're definitely going deeper though because we were in a hill and now we're going in and under quite a big hill so it's probably going to get quite deep in a bit little normal security locks in Jenico was it Ingersoll Ingersoll lock. Hmm. Some of these things in there could actually be genuine in a place. Like a turbocharger. Uh, that yeah. that looks like one of those. Um, it says aircon engineering, but that could be something off a um, inflator for a bouncy castle. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Not quite. Period. Then. Well, it may be. It might be <laughs> off, off like a bloody big truck or something, but. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. What would that be? That's off a truck, isn't it? That's a um, ball it's a kingpin, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's a tractor wheel, isn't it? Tractor wheel, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Here we go. Bicycle spokes and what are these rails on the floor, or just? What are these? Just to. Uh... Yeah, it's long, long metal rail stuff on the floor. Wow. Should we go for it? Oh, I don't know. Should we, should we go for? Oh, I'm going to leave. I, I'm. I'm. I, I can't handle it. It's too much for me. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Right. Yeah, D Cine like whatever that is. Ooh. If you turn this corner, it says. If you turn this corner, you mug. Oh, okay. Oh, we're getting growth coming in there. But the ceiling looks flat here, there's no bowing on the ceiling, so... I'm Looks thinking good. that other one that's collapsing is a, you know, an aftermarket uh, concrete pad stand they've got on there. Ooh! Wow, that's a big boy, isn't it? That goes off into the distance. Oh, so this is the main power in then. Fuse, fuse blocks. It looks burnt there, like somebody set fire to it. Just inside the box, though, so it, maybe it was a box electrical fire, fire, electrical yeah. fire. Hmm. That looks like a radiator there, or a heat exchanger. Heat exchanger out of a boiler or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's okay. Some good stuff down there, right? mm. Yeah. These are interesting. Well, Plastic. You with your, your long down here. So yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, 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 he just wants me to turn it on so he can see, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, my, my camera's uh, <laughs> not set up for HDR. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh. That's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When I get close, I normally turn it off because it's too bright. It literally yeah, yeah, pops. Yeah. I think the toilet's there. Oh, right, yeah. Whoa, and there's some old sort of machinery here, like a press. Oh, yeah. That's a press or a press. drill. Yeah. Drill thing. Yeah, sort of Ooh, engine. compressor. Is it a compressor? Yeah, yeah. Could well be a compressor, that. Hmm. You put music in it, it comes out smaller. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. Tires, because. Everyone needs to have a motorbike underground. Pizza. That looks a bit old, doesn't it? Old school. Mm. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Apparently they used to make telescopes down here, I was told. Oh, look, this is where we've got to be when they come in later on. There he is. Yeah. Can you imagine how I jump out of them from here? It's not. It's not the bone throne. No. But because there's two chairs, it's it's not an alone throne either. You can have your mate that with you. <laughs> so yeah. Ooh. That. That's a boiler, isn't it? That's some sort of. That's some sort of fire. Mm. Little little uh, air box at the bottom. It's quite cast as well, so it is an old one. It's like a, a back boiler, you know. In the... Yep. Fire burns in this bit. Don't know what the little, maybe just something to see where uh, 
the fumes are going or mm, yeah an inspection yeah it's some sort of fire isn't it yeah yeah definitely some sort of um, boiler system yeah mm. Ooh. Ah. Now I'll look down the end and we've got more of these leaf springs that that's a gearbox isn't it it could be I don't know it's, it's like a handle, weird it? handle maybe that's a machine and you you grab the you grab the handles to pull the mechanism yeah uh, I think these are machine parts, so this would be for tooling, tooling and making, uh, making stuff. Big old springs, though, as you say. But maybe we've seen evidence of tractor parts down here, so maybe these are tractor parts. That. Hmm. Ooh, that's a heater. I've seen those before. Right. Is that a paraffin heater? Yeah. Yeah, because you'd have the mantle down there, or gas. It could be gas, actually. You can see the little yeah, filaments. Yeah. And they'd have a, a radioactive mantle on there, one of those white mantles that kicks it off. Ooh. Old lights off the ceiling. Wow. Yeah, an oven. Oh yeah, oh yes, yeah. They have actually been doing work. Yeah. This this looks like the the motor part, the motor part of a lathe. Yeah. God. Yeah. That's the back half of the lathe, I think. That's the movement arm. Ooh, Blimineck, that's got the start-stop switch for a lathe or some sort of a piece of equipment you want to put on it. Do you smell a little bit of gas? This is just my imagination. I just got like a slight no, whiff of... Whiff yet. No, okay. Put down one other for it, I might do. Not that sort of gas. <laughs> More tractor stuff, is it, or wheels? Same sort of, uh, same sort of thing, isn't it? Mm. Very weird stuff. You know, there's um, someone now screaming at their computer, saying, "This is what it is. Why don't you know what that is?" Yeah. And this is some sort of like air blower. Oh yeah. Air blower. It might be uh, well, got, for um, machinery purposes. It's got like a insulated thing, so maybe cooling. Yeah, and it's got uh, it's got pipes in and out in and out here. Ah, oh, yeah, there's loads of um, pipes going through it, so it's so, so it's, a it's a heat cooling exchanger, yeah. heat exchanger. Yeah. yeah, and there's electrics up in here as well. Look, so these oh. are probably temperature oh, sensors. Oh, my God. oh yeah, I was going to say they're temperature switches or, or buttons. Wow. Yeah, somebody's rigged it so it works off like <laughs> switches instead of uh, impressive switches. That looks like a refrigerator. Perhaps it's, refri oh, gas, Perhaps it's refrigerator gas. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it smells like it smells like some gas, doesn't it? Wow. Little, uh, oh, little sink, off. sink we basin. Yeah, I did too. Okay. Just keeps going. Wow. This place just doesn't stop. Oh, wow. Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. Yes. Yes. Oh. We've got a mower down here because everybody needs to mow underground. More equipment. God, there is a lot of equipment in here. It's crazy. Have a look at that down there. Whoa, there's big parts oh, down there. Look. What the hell is that? Big, big stuff. Yeah. And then we've also got, which, which I think is paralleling the way we went in. But it may, be, may have come out of a different entrance, which which is now blocked up. So these are parallel to where we yeah. came in, aren't they? Yeah. Do you want to go down this way yeah, then? Absolutely. This will probably this will probably dead end, I expect. Yeah. Well, it seems logically, unless it's uh, going to come out of Narnia. Yeah. Hmm. So. Wow. We've got we've got wooden doors with which would have had glass in them. We've got an old engine, quite a big engine. Complete diesel. Yeah. Uh, we've got metal boxes. 
and working equipment. Woo. Watch that rusty is a bit sharp there, the rust on it. It's um, like fuse wire or copper wire on a, on a roll there. Pipes, which could have been uh, heating pipes or radiator pipes. Because they're joined together like in a... Yeah, they are, yeah. Electric radiator pipes, do you think? Or, or water... Water radiator. Yeah. This looks like it goes around the corner to another entrance. Now this one it hasn't collapsed like the first one, but I think this is going to go dead end, and it does. Yeah. That's dead end. Probably that would have gone out. And that's been sealed up. Now I don't think you can see out. No. So that's a dead end. I think that would have gone out. Yeah. At some point, so there would have been multiple entrance ways to this. Uh, Funny how Factory. When they, um, when they bricked it, they actually done it for ventilation. They, uh, the bricks are sort of yeah. staggered away, but then they backfilled. Yeah, they're trying to hide it. Yeah. What's that then? Looks like a, oh, I thought it was a great big safe door or something, but actually it's just a very thin yeah. refrigerator. It's a re internal. fridge door. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the sort of like opening handle, and that's the. Uh, it's got the the name of the company on it. What's it? Uh, F I was it F I think it's upside down isn't fin, it? yeah finalic <laughs> it's like for for la 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 for na 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 it mm. Don't worry, you can edit it so it's upside down on fin, that part finalic finalic never heard that's of that. bizarre have a look at that see if anybody knows what that is finalic oh, I haven't seen a that for a long time Yeah, electric coil yeah. from an engine. HT. Just a bit of wood. Of course, but it's quite heavy actually. It's like a piece of wood or metal. Yeah. Cuprinol. Whoa. Electric junction box. Place to uh, manoeuvre about. No. Mm. Oh, it's a chain. It's, a, it's like a leather, leather belt, but like a drive belt. Oh, right. Old leather drive belt. Oh. Cool. So many things here. Look at this uh, wooden. Wooden door. Yeah, I was just wondering whether these doors are actually out of this, you know, the shelter itself. Mm. At some point. There's a lot of wood. There's a lot of wood in here. So there's an old uh, light socket there, going through the wall, and we've got a wooden bar on the top. So I wonder if that was that door was on here, that metal door that's been. Put to one side. Yeah. Wonder, it could have been, could oh, be from could there. Be, look how tall it is compared to. Could have been here. Like, yeah, it could yeah. have been there. Yeah, so that's a the, lot uh, of the, the bolt here. A lot of locks. So there's, your, there's your bolt for that lock. Yeah. So at one time it would have been more secure than it is now. Duckham's motor oil. What's this? That is an old vacuum cleaner, isn't it? Oh my God, yeah. That's an old vacuum. Yeah. It looks like a bloody. You know, scuba diving gear, <laughs> doesn't it? It's a vacuum. From when vacuums were shaped like phalluses. <laughs> Those were the days. Oh, look at that battery. Oh, wow, that's an original one. Yeah. Jeez. God. Oh, that, is a... that, that, is is that is a mad battery. More. Stuff yeah, more. Well, if if they were using this place as a machine tool place for telescopes and things like that, I imagine with the war effort it might have been appropriated for other things, you know, and they probably said, look, you know, you need to help us out if shit hits the fan, we'll be asking yeah. you to make stuff. 
So maybe it was kept a little bit like that. If you know more about this place, folks, tell us, because we're just guessing at the moment, and what we'll do when we get home is we'll find out a bit more about it. Oh, look, fan. This is very tractor-orientated. These are the tractor Yeah, fan up here for air extraction. And a door. The door's no longer present. Possible asbestos in those things? In these flats? Yeah, so it's probably these things are there, probably asbestos. So, wow. So this is the edges of the tractor bits. Edges of the tractor. Oh, yeah, these are for chomping across the field, aren't they? Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine how they got this in there. Yeah, it's an axle. That's a, that's a, that's a job and a half, that is, from what we've come through. That's small Gear, Gearbox, differential. Yeah. Gearbox. That might have been just to disconnect and reconnect the back wheels. God alive. Clumpy, isn't it? Clumpy stuff. Mm. Right, so we're going to head around and we'll probably come back onto the main drag of the tunnel then. There's a lot of these uh, you know, concrete parts. Yeah. They would have been, you know, air shafts or something at one point. This is one of the more interesting tunnels like this that I've seen. Um, there's a drain there. Now, a lot of the time when they build these places, they build them so they're all, they're, they slant away so that all the water will run out. But yeah. I'm not sure if I'm... Am I, am I imagining seeing it slightly well, downhill? Yeah, I, I feel it's going that way, but it might just be that tunnel effect where it's at the end. And... It's a shame we haven't got any pee in us, actually. If we had a pee, yeah, right. we could look with, whether it starts rolling in a direction but I, I would imagine this comes downhill here yeah. and then starts to go downhill there just very slightly but it's enough to get that water to run out so you don't ever flood the tunnels yeah. there's not a lot of graffiti in here there's only a few bits it's quite clean it's nice to see yeah Some sort of light fittings would have gone onto this piece of wood, probably. Now, there's a line there of concrete, so it may have been that they had a, a little wall here somewhere. Possibly. There's wood up there, so they might have had a door hanging here. And are we in the main tunnel again? I think well, we probably are. We came in from up there, didn't we? Yeah. We went to the right there, though, because we went right... Up, That's interesting. They've got uh, sideways joists, like as if they think the wall's coming in. Whoa. No. So. Okay. So there's some more modern plastic uh, light fittings on the roof, and pipe, old pipe going down. Whew. Bloody hell. That. I think it's a machine. <laughs> I think it's uh, some sort of machine. Yeah, it could be. I think people might have actually done. I heard about in the past people used to work and they used to use machines. Now, uh, it's only. Work only happens in like China, so I think probably nobody would know what this is. But it, it, it looks like it spins different parts into place. So this was a turntable that would have probably moved different positions into place. And, oh, eclairage. It says eclairage and rotation. Oh, there's a burn at the bottom there. Wow. Look at this transformer. Uh, coils, that's another transformer. It looks like it's a motor, but it's not. It's, it's two, two wound coils. That's, that burner doesn't belong there. That's probably a heating element, balsas, look. It's got, a, it's got a plug on the side of it, and it's probably yeah. to heat oil or something, because yeah. there's pipes going in and out of it. And some of those pipes then end up up here. And, oh, look, high vacuum valve, yeah. roughing valve, backing valve, air admit valve. And it's got different positions. Speeds, 32, 16, 8, 14, that's probably gearing. 
gearing speeds. And it could be an automatic lathe of some description. Yeah, I've just never seen those, uh, these heads on there. No idea no. what they could be. I think there's logic circuits in here. So this is a lathe that operates probably automatically. It like gets to a position, switches to the next function, yeah. switches. It's what, some sort like of an early CNC machine. An early type of automatic lathe, yeah. Wow. I reckon. And these are possibly different heads. Yeah. The different, different heads. cutting heads and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, they, oh, yeah, they sort of spin but spring. Yeah, there's a there's a connector on the underneath of that. And it connects when you do that, I'll do it for you. Like what oh, yeah. when you do that, watch it moves back yeah. and forth. Remember the old screwdriver they used to get where you could flex the, mm. the thing and it had that, that flexible pipe? I think that's like that where Wow. There's two they look like massive resistors over there. They're huge, tall columns, and they look like they're resistors. And it says AEG E2800 C1006. Wow. The tone is such an echo. I can hear you behind me and in front of me. This is mental this stuff. It's obviously missing a lot of bits. I think the, machi well, the machine. The bits that actually tell us what it is. Hmm. And, and this I year, what dial would have been on there. I wonder whether that was a hand, a hand turn thing that was recessed so you could grab it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, is that a, it's uh, a variac. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It's a massive variac. Now it won't turn, but you can still get variacs like this today, and this will alternate the speed and the power, so eventually affecting the motor speed. But you've got different, different things here, which are obviously seized. But you can lock in. See the old graph in there that someone's punched through, which is a shame. Yeah. Am that. Ammeter. Ammeter. Yeah. Maybe it ran off compressed air and electrics for the for the motor logic. Maybe in a combination of both. But I get the feeling that whatever used to be on you had yeah. was fitted on that arm. And we should swing into place, and then these things would do something. Yeah. Like these, do they used to spin these things? Yeah, they did. They do turn. Oh, ooh, I got a funny feeling. Can you see that this has a group? This is like a, a, a winder, isn't it? It's winding something on a drum. Well, I was going to. Yes, that's true. Actually, yes. I was going to say these have got grooves, and there's grooves around all of them. Some have more function than others like this is a tensioner yeah, see that's yeah, a tensioner yeah. and this is just a dumb wheel that's a dumb oh, wheel i know what they are it's a it's a transformer winder i, I was gonna say that they're a pair of uh, dj decks <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah um you know when what you have is you can have a something on here which sits still and yeah. these spin around it yeah these yeah. spin around and they wind on wire yeah. ch -ch 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 from different directions and i think that span around and wound wire around a transformer yeah. I've got a funny feeling this is a transformer winding machine or it something similar. It sounds logical. Or a motor winding machine for yeah. motor winding, transformer winding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that's the only thing that head could be used for, isn't it? Yeah, it's because. Central, central pivot with the windings on the outside. Yeah. And this would have like a large drum of copper. Large, uh, yeah, large drum, yeah. Uh, winding to, to roll on. Yes. Well, well. I wonder if we've solved a mystery, <laughs> or if we just created one. I reckon we'll have some. So that's pretty much where we came in then. So it doesn't look like there's anything off to the sides where we was. Are you sure we haven't missed anything? No. Sure. Look, look. There's plastic pipes, plastic pipes and lights. Yeah, so something's been done recent-ish. Mm, yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah. So yeah, that does look like the way we went in, wasn't it? So we've come down around the right-hand side. So the yeah. only the only way now is there's more stuff that way. Yeah, yeah, and, and behind us. Yeah. Oh, so we haven't been down that long tunnel, have we? Yeah. So we so we came out. Oh no. Oh yes, we did. We went around the corner. All of that section. Yeah. And we may well find if we go that way, we come out to another dead end yeah. because it goes out to a an entrance way. To the surface. Which is a very low ceiling in this section. Mm. Wow, 
Oh, nice, nice stuff. As, as Glenn was saying, lower ceiling. And the bricks actually change, like just, just in front of it, you've got like the yellow bricks. Yeah. You know, for two meters there, which is weird. Are you saying so we should follow this change. yellow brick road? I think we should. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> this is different. That's, yeah. that's wood up there. Oh, look down here, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Whoa. Is that, that's a secret way they, they blocked it up, didn't they? Oh, isn't that? I can't believe somebody found that. that. I know. I would have walked straight past that. And How the hell did they find that? That's an oh, old... Probably because of up the top. Ah, yes. But this is wood above us, which is interesting, because it might have been a way they dropped stuff in in the past. They might have been able to lift these wooden blocks out of the way and drop stuff down. Whoa, this place. This place is not giving up. Where, where do we begin? Well, let's follow your original plan. Yeah, we'll see if we can find a way out. We'll work our way to the back. Does that sound good? I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got a bit of a turn right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Age of Aquarius, blocks, more wheels. And, oh, I didn't yeah. even look that way. Oh, I like this. Uh... So the hidden passageway is more than more than we can get to from here. Yeah, so actually, they just, yeah. Hmm. So do you want to go for that one? If you don't know what yeah. represents. That looks like it's had a fire lit in it. Yeah. It's had a fire. Yeah, I reckon we would be foolish not to. Yeah, because uh, if we forget it and uh, remember later on tonight. Like Let's it. enter the bum hole. <laughs> Let's enter it. Now, you, first. First. you first. You first. Because I want to see whether you enjoy it. <laughs> well, he didn't, he didn't scream out in pain, so I'm going to assume he enjoyed it. He, he, <laughs> he's, been, he's been putting that off for years, but now he knows it's all right. Right. Yeah. Ooh. I like they put a vortex on it, so it's like a, a portal to another dimension. And the vortex, the vortex keeps going. Actually, that's quite interesting what they've done there. It's like a spiral vortex. Ah, just dead enders, I think, isn't it? Doesn't go very far. Fingers crossed. Go on, baby. Go on, baby. Go on, baby. Ooh, more. This go, huh? More, yeah. I'll let you go. Wow. Okay. Another, another, another entrance way. Yeah. Now the ceiling is okay as well. Yeah. I would say, possibly slanting a little bit to the right, like it's a little bit lower on the right, a little bit subsided on the right. But apart from that, short right leg. is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Turn your head straight. But if I, if I was to go like this and touch it here, if I was to do this, and if the camera will come around, if I touch it like that, and then I walk forward, if, my, if, my, if I lose contact with it, yeah, definitely lost contact, definitely lost contact. And if I come back again. That is the best impression of a shark I've ever seen. There you go. It does get shorter on that side. But... Oh, we're going back for the bummer, right? Who needs measuring tapes? You're, gonna <laughs> you're coming back for some more bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I, cor I corrupt some dot com. That's a port portal to a whole world of bumming. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you can actually see that they. Uh... Sort of, you can see the original doorway. So it looks like it's been knocked for a few times. Do you reckon this? Yeah. That's tied in, that's the same bricks, isn't it? So yeah. So yeah. would have had a doorway there. But I think they tried to make it look good on the other side because it's hard to spot, isn't yeah. it? You can see it on this side, but you can't see it. I'm wondering whether the bricks were yellow on the other side now. We didn't. Oh, I think it was painted, wasn't it? So you just didn't, didn't see it. Hmm. Whoops. Can I give this to you, so? Oh, cheers. I'm going to use lube next time. 
<laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get less friction and get piles otherwise. <laughs> yeah. mm, don't think so, no. That's the blue paint they used to draw, oh, yeah. to draw the portal. In fact, they, they brought it in. They brought it in an extra bottle as well. Walls and ceilings, yeah. There it is. The bum hole. <laughs> This is a lot taller than the stuff we did in Luton. It's a lot bigger. But still, not a lot of people have been in here, because if they had, I think that it would be wall-to-wall -wall graffiti. So I think it's still managed to elude many people, this place. Yeah. Yeah, it really is quite free of graffiti. I know there's a couple of pieces back there, but you know, it's, uh, there's a lot of wall here that's painted white. That yep. You would think that... Uh, would yeah. be changed. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, that would isolate, I think. Yeah. No idea. Cable runner. When I see stuff like that, I just think that maybe they would have dropped stuff in and then these would have been the last pieces to be sealed. Yeah. Yeah. In case you need to drop more stuff in. That's interesting. That so looks like it was made. Right yeah, it looks like it was made for it though. Yeah, so that's the actual plug. Plug hole for the train. Wow. Ooh. Seems to go off again. Whoa, that's long. That is long. And that's a dead end. Okay, well, at least we know where we're going then. Hmm. I did love the, uh, the, you know, the, the pink impression on the wall there. Yeah, this is, this is original. So this is what's behind the bricks. Yeah, it's behind everything here, yeah. And they stopped here, but then they built a nice little strange... Oh, like a little part of tooth brickwork. Yeah, it's almost like as if they were showing off their, their work or their ability to, to do that. Yeah. Because this is a dead end, obviously, unless this is a secret alien wall. And what you're meant to do is, like Star Trek, you're meant to go like this. Om, and then it goes... And just dissolves. But if, if that's a real wall then they're just showing off here with this brickwork. Is it chalk or sandstone or...? Oh, it's very soft. It's yeah, chalk. it's chalk. Yeah, yeah chalk. It's strange to see like the, like the slate lines for it, where mm. the, you know, the, over the time it's changed. Yeah, something like... Something dropping, wasn't it? I, I reckon uh, Benno and Jordan would try and sneak up on oh, us if they, if they could. Yes, yeah. Don't worry, I'll go spring up again. So, <laughs> mm. so we're going to go from there now, walking back towards the main tunnel. Isn't it's it? like all the, all the joins, though, isn't it? Where, you, where the sections all join, they've all got that funny roof. Mm. Yes. So, there must have been some reason for it, either an air vent or the way they constructed it. Take the spoiler out. Yeah. So they had pipes, plastic pipes down lower to keep the uh, the wires from corroding. Yeah. Jeez. Mm. Some old BSA wheel that someone somewhere is after a uh, <laughs> wheel for a BSA and uh, can't find it anywhere. There's another one of these uh, yeah. join things. Anybody know why they built them like this, with these join bits in between? Is this the main drag? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because we, we went to there, didn't we? So we've practically done it all apart from the back side line. Yeah. So did we go down that end bit? No, we haven't been anywhere down the back at all. No. We came this way, and we looked up there, so we're nearly... Well, if we're really lucky, it'll go off into a massive another section, but... Uh, somebody's put 2016 up there on the graffiti. Oh, here, yeah, yeah. Black roof, interesting. It's oil, it's tar as well, isn't uh, it? Oily or tarry, yeah. So that's... It could be um, gloss paint. Yeah. It's just shiny. Yeah. Can't tell if it's wet or if it's. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's coming off. It yeah. does come off, yeah. Mm. I don't know if they use that as a sealer to stop the water. Penetrating, but yeah. Blob. 
Come on, baby, go further now. Come yes, on. Yes, look. Oh. Oh. It just keeps giving. Ooh, a little bit further. Go away here, so that's going to be... It's going to be the finale, Ooh, isn't it? it does go. It okay. goes. Yeah. Old light, light stuff. They would just have put a bulb in there. Yeah. Very basic. Yeah. You can see all the ding, 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 all the oh, stuff all the, they've been going uh, all, all, all cable, cable stuff, yeah. We've got another little blacked out area. Yeah, I wonder why they blacked it. Every bit of light counts in a bunker, doesn't it? If you yeah. black, black things, it uh, kills the light. Clean there, isn't it? Like they've swept it off the edges. Yeah. To get their photo shoot. Now it's funny as well because instead of coming down naturally to the wall, they've put an extra piece here. So it's almost like as if it's reinforcing, but yeah. they they didn't naturally follow it follow it on. Mm. So, so the curve is not even in the centre, is it? You know, you've, no. you've lost part of. So that might have been built up for another reason. Yeah, Goodness yeah. If we're going down to the left, it, that reason might become apparent in a minute. Yeah. They would have had a door on you, but it looks it's concrete reinforced at the top. You can see the uh, black line where something was yeah. going around. And they had some sort of like they were sealing it there, look. Yeah, yeah. Sealing. Hmm. Oh well. Should we go and have a look then? Let's do it. Oh no. There's, there's a concrete thing, look up there. So oh, again, was this a way in? So yeah. And, ooh. Ah, this might be a clue to what, how they designed this thing then. Because it probably butts into that of the room. Ooh. We have, ow, oh, oh, no way. way out. All the way to this thing, and that's big. Yeah. You could, you could fall down, down there. there. You could fall down there. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, you're, you're right, though, because look, you're going to land on the spring plate, so you won't hurt yourself when you fall. I wonder if we can get a GPS signal through there. I'm going to try, <laughs> so we can work out where it is on the surface. Yeah. I mean, it's a weird spring thing, isn't it? The, we are. Under, aren't we? I reckon that's 100 feet. 100 feet. Well, I wasn't expecting that. 100 feet, maybe, yeah. Let's see where we get a... Uh, yeah. Because it'll bounce down there, it'll bounce off the sides if you're lucky. Nothing so far. It probably needs, you know, a couple of satellites to actually pinpoint you rather than just. Well, I suppose you're just going for cell data. Uh, oh shit! I'm gonna be careful because I need to just drop my phone on the floor. <laughs> That's not good. No. Interesting. But I would hope that that is well marked because you yeah, could, you'd like it to have a raised sides, wouldn't you? You could easily get a dog or yeah. a child fall down there. Yeah. Well, we'll try and uh, discover that a bit if you want. Yeah. Okay. So maybe this that room round here was made uh, with this wall to separate that from this. So if we do steps, if we work it out, so we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen to this back wall. It's that red weird triangle stuff. Seventeen steps. So if I go in level to where I started here, yeah. and we'll just see if it's seventeen to the back wall of this bit in here. So here we go. So from there. So one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's a bit further, this wall, maybe. Could have been a bit out, but yeah. yeah. That other room is behind there. Yeah. So that, that's why that goes in there. They must have got their calculations wrong or something. They've got this big pad stone here. They would have had like a... Generator. Yeah, generator with the ventilation, yeah. This is a generator room, yes. Good well point, good spotted. So maybe that wall is double thick for, you know, like in case of a fire or explosion. So it's Maybe the fuel was in that room. Yeah. And the reason they paint things black is because they don't transmit the, the heat so much. If they're white, 
Yeah. They flash off. I don't know what, what it is, but... Um, Look, Matthew. Matthew, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. They would have kept the fuel in a separate room to the generator, probably. And this is the far end of the bunker as well. So, the, re the reason you'd have a door here is probably because of noise, but also because of the risk of the, the fact you're running an engine in here, which is, a, is basically a controlled fire, isn't it? Yeah. So, I wonder if the fuel was in here. Hmm. Because the fuel would be kept close. Yeah, yeah Definitely. Yeah, yeah. And this would then, if the generator was in here, this would have had a lot of cabling. Yeah, That's probably... From this area. Uh, yeah, yeah. so that would have been where the cables came out to run generator power. Well, I'm wondering if there's any kind of void above us. So in, uh, in Ashley Road, that is very, very similar to this one. Right. Very similar. It has all these as well. Yeah. And the layout is very similar to the arched roof and all that. And it's also carved out of all the um, chalk. So it's mm. very, very similar um, one. Above it has a, a big ventilation room. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't see any hatches at all in this one. And this metal thing's screwed in. And concrete it into the wall there. Yeah. yeah level, right. almost level with this here. Level with this. So maybe there was a, a separate security door. I, I would imagine that because of the fire risk and the smoke risk yeah. from here, there would have been a number of security doors from here. Ooh. We haven't seen the boys yet. Well, I mean, maybe they're in trouble uh, locating it. Hmm. I can't imagine they would. Uh, that professionals, they can do it. Yeah. So, just keep your eye out on the ceilings for anything that we may have missed, um, hatches or anything. I, I'm seeing evidence of a lot of these old metal pipes and going around, so they would have been distributing the power in different directions. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, which way do you want to walk now then? We've, uh, don't mind. pretty much done all of the tunnels. It's a lot easier to see further because when we came in, we had that mist that you get sometimes near the entrance ways to places. So I can see all the way to the end now with that and all the way along. But when we started, it was a bit misty because of that entrance way mist, which you usually get like down in these places. I don't know, we've kind of seen it i suppose yeah and just to be clear you haven't added that echo in on the uh edit and that is the, <laughs> the genuine sound in here yeah and this is the machine room is it oh yeah what's that yeah winding machine oh look there's a big pair of balls on the wall it says ballsy above it ballsy I mean, it looks more like a buck to me but oh yeah <laughs> yeah ballsy did you see the little uh bird cage on the light oh yeah <laughs> the canary cage. Well, we have to be bloody small. Hummingbird. Hmm. <laughs> so this would have had a lot of electrical stuff in the past. It's a lot of electrical stuff coming down here. So maybe this is where they were using that that equipment over there, and it was powered. So I'll try and work out that this would have been like a you know living quarters. So somewhere you know definitely when we went to the end to the left where it was that dead end room mm -hmm. that was sort of like a mess you know like somewhere where you'd hang out yep um i don't, I don't know what they would have had in the corridors do you reckon they would have had beds in the corridors or i don't know I, it it's quite big for a um a, a, a shelter it's quite big it's yep. almost like as if it's it's more like for working in. It's like a factory rather than a shelter because the shelters, they don't need to be this wide. Yeah. This is to get large equipment in and out and large things. Yeah, large, large corridors. Yeah, I've never seen a shelter quite this wide. It's more like a um, control, control center or something like that, maybe. Right, yeah, so more of a commercial place rather than a... Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of electrics and a lot of uh, metal work for there for pipes up on the wall. I mean, this does have some association to the, the Cane 
Mentos on, but I don't know what the Mentos on would have originally been mm. uh, before it was an asylum. Yeah, so, there's uh, the mist starting to come in now, see? Yeah. Listen for rave. So maybe they have had parties oh, down yeah, there. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I think acoustically it's the right place for it. This is more modern, so this is where the power would have come in, and it was it was junctioned off all the way down there. You can see it down the walls. And then it starts to thin out as you get towards the end of the bunker. But th this was probably the main way in for quite some time then. Uh, I, can hear a, I can hear a Benno there. Yeah. Very distinctive, huh? Yeah, Benno. Hello? Oi! Who's up? Hello. Fuck off! <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> I'm, blur I'm gonna have to blur him time now. How are you doing, ma'am? <laughs> well, this is a treat in you. You're gonna enjoy this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How big is it? Pretty big. It's, it's not it's not colossal you're not talking like miles but it's it's definitely bigger than i'm used to okay yeah so i'll film down at your feet so i don't have to blow your head and there he goes the legend that is the benno and here's another one yeah another legend <laughs> that's what that's what i was told last night It's Le Jord. It's Le Jord. Look, he's, he's even got his mask on ready. He's, he's a professional. Here he is. You're going to love this, mate. It's brilliant. They've got machines in here and stuff as well. Try, try and work out what the machines are. See if you can work out. There's some quite complicated ones. And see if you come to the same conclusion as, as us. That's Jordan from Be Beface Computing. Like, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Did you have any trouble finding it or have you just turned um, it? No, it, we were stuck in traffic and mm. then, uh, what do you call it, so we were sent to our, uh, you know, voice message and looked at your pin again and then, you know, I looked and you could see it, it was like, you could tell because like the scenery yeah. of the surroundings were like all the dark, like grassy colour and then it, you just see this like white stone, don't you? Yeah, so, uh, that's it. This has been open for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's not it's not trashed in there at all, is it? Really? I mean, there's a lot of strange machinery parts and oh, stuff that you'll see. But uh, I would love your opinion on what you think those machines were, because I've got I've got a pretty good idea, but it's guesswork. So I'm interested what your guesswork will be compared to ours. And then we'll find out if anybody knows. Yeah, look at this guy now. He's like pro now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Gimbals and uh, body armour. C4 and explosive hands. vest. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that, my body cam did turn up. Uh, I don't know if I told you or not. Yeah, yeah, you did say that this but one I keep getting into security confrontations, running up and then going, shit, I forgot <laughs> I had a body cam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll let you have fun. You're going to be about probably 40 minutes in here, I reckon, okay. mooching okay. around. So we'll let you have some fun. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll go and have a look on the outside because we're going to try and find where some of uh, the... There is a hole is. Yeah. from the surface right down, and it's big enough for, for a kid to fall down. That is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll have a look around here. Yeah. Right. We'll get back in contact with you via WhatsApp. Or... Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I think if we if we calculate this right, if we go up there and we walk about so many paces to the left and then parallel it up the hill, yeah. we, if we go to that furthest corner, we might just stumble into the hole and we'll look at the GPS as well. But if we step, 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 step left by a certain amount and then we keep just walking in a straight line, a and straight we could zigzag, yeah, but yeah. in a straight line, you know? Yeah, yeah. Zigzag in a straight line, that's a new one, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That one. I'm going to zigzag in a straight line as if we're looking for a dead body. I'm going to cover all the bases. Ooh. 
Oh, jeez. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Right, I'm going to put this up straight and I'm going to tilt lock it. There we are, so we can get out and you can still see. the uh, nun to the bishop. Wow, yeah, a bit muddy on my hands. Lucky I've got some gloves on. Yeah, look what it's done to my bag. Shit. You all right? Here he comes. Oh, it has been raining out here now, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's what it is, is it? Turn it around and see me crawling out, but I fucking missed the whole lot. Do you want me to film you? Oh, I'm filming your leg. Yeah, that's all right. I think we got you now. Got you coming out with a hole. <laughs> Dirty hole. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Growl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, okay, well. So, it's so weird, isn't it? It doesn't look like it's high enough to be at that feet that we saw. Yeah. So the, the tunnels go in that way. So we go in. Yeah, so it's definitely in that corner. So all the other entrances would have been along, along here. I, I think so we've got to get up there, but across there. So up and across, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Right, I've got no torture with me, so I'm just going to sit by you. Get that Stand by me. Like the song said. Oh God, it's a bit, a bit slipoid. Mm. Gotta choose the awkward way, haven't I? Ooh. That's a bit of a beast. I think it turns into like a road up here. It it, it ruts down. We up. <laughs> let the let the DJI go slam. <laughs> yeah. He's up. He's made it. Oh, yeah, look. It looks so bloody easy. I thought, oh, that'd be easy. And then, uh, no. it's so look, uh... Oh, I can see the, uh, the fight now, then. So that's weird, isn't it? Like, it's like something that's been cut. Like, you know, round, like as if that was where the ah. water would have been. Up there. Weird, isn't it? Well, well, I mean, I guess we're going to the top of this hill, then, because, you know, it was quite far back. To be yeah. Oh, I know what used to be here. You know on um, pillboxes, yeah. you know they have those um, like metal lids that come out of the, the ground? Mm -hmm. You used to have one of those here. Ah. You know, so it's raised up with a, with a hatchway. Oh. Do you think that would have been that little hatchway we saw halfway through? Remember we saw a hatch where, where the, the ceiling was bowed in? It had a hatchway, didn't it? Yeah. And that might be walk in. This is the bowed bit. Might be bowed here because this has been dug out. It's yeah. And it's bowing down, but it may have been the hatch was somewhere around here. And it's funny that this this thing just happens to be about this point, and it's been has it been concreted in the middle? Maybe this was the roof of a building. Yeah. So so maybe the roof was up here, and it had a building there. Yeah. And, and you used to climb down, but somebody's knocked the bricks away, and the roof's collapsed in. There's some more bricks going down there as well. Yeah. So this might have been the top of a, a little building. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not wearing the right shoes. That is shit. Um, that is proper shit, that. That was going to be... Whoa! Slide, 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 slide. Oh, my God. You have a little walking stick there to dig in and get your purchase. Mm. Oh, if, you can't, if you're having trouble with those fucking shoes, I've got flat soles on mine. Oh, bloody hell. This is like a uh, 60 degree slant, yeah? Jesus. I can't believe. Ooh, uh, I can't believe I'm getting this far, actually. I just put it on my bloody face in a minute, mate.
I am literally going to be on my face. Well, grab onto the grass, baby. All because we want to go vertically up. <laughs> ah, oh shit. Bloody thorns in that bastard then. Thorns, I just grabbed a pile of thorns and held onto it. Not good. Right. Wow. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy. You can grip on those um, grass bits, they're not too bad. I tell you what, fuck the camera right now. Yeah, fuck the camera. Hold it on with one hand and I've got no This is where we are, look, that's that's level with the horizon. That's Glen. <laughs> anyway, like all good Clarksons would do. See ya. Right. <laughs> I'm carrying on, buddy. Onwards and upwards. It's not easy. Oh God. Right. Imagine if we just like fell down that hole now up here. So I think it's somewhere along here. And perhaps behind the fence line for safety reasons. And that's why it's not being filled in because they, they figure nobody would be stupid enough to get near it. If it's behind that fence line, maybe it's forgotten about. Oh my God. Where would it be? Where would it be? Oh, I had the torch on in my pocket. That's not very clever, is it? Ooh. Oh, this is a beast. It's a beast. What's that? What? Right, okay. Let's do it then. God, it's a bloody... It's a beast, folks. It's a bloody beast. It's a bloody beast, I tell you. Ah. Oh. Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. They always have them hiding something, don't they? Yeah. Let's go and have a look then. It's a bit of a funny one, isn't it? Oh, you gonna should we walk up? Because it looks like it's coming down there a bit. Do you want me to? Uh... Oh, okay. Oh. Ah, wait, wait, back. Hang on. Go. Uh, back down. Get your back down. Uh, I say you through. Yeah. I tell you what. If you hold on to my no, oh, I'm not gonna. Right. I'm not gonna do that. Right. No. If you hold on to that. Ah, uh, you chicken. I don't know, it might be stupid what I'm about to do, but... Whoa! You hear that going then? <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want, isn't it? Wobbly bloody fence. <laughs> Wobble fence. I couldn't look, if we'd gone up there, it's a big thick bit, we could have safely climbed that. Classic. Classic. Oh, just check there's no rain on the old... Uh, Thing. That is a bit suspicious, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Could this be it? Horses have been in here. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't fit a horse down that hole, but. Hopefully, that's why it's all grown over yeah well you'd think foxes would be a bit more smart as well but that is very hard to see oh 
Oh. Oh, here we go, folks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. They did they did the right thing there. They did the right thing. Wow. Now, be interesting just to check my phone to see if it told us the right place. I think it said go into the forest a bit more, and that isn't where it was. Right. So that's where it said we need to go. But this is where, where are we now? That's where we are. Hang on. It's in satellite mode. We've, we've, I think we've discovered all the mysteries, yeah? Yeah. So, let's have a quick gander. There we are. So I couldn't even see that when I was holding that over there, but yeah. It's a little bit of light then and I'll have a... Do you want to have a blast down there, is it? Yeah. Here we go then. Three, two, one. I can see it. I can see it on your little screen up there. Looks like a butthole. <laughs> it does look like a brown butthole. Imagine if I drop that down there now and I have to go all the way back through the tunnel to, to yeah, find you can't, it. You can't phone them. And no. Because if, if it went down and the light went out, they wouldn't mm. see it. They wouldn't click past it. Hmm. I'm so glad they put a pipe there like that because I thought, oh, that looks dangerous. But here we are, folks. That's the main road that we were on earlier on. That is where we were. That's where you all started from, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Flying over in that corner there. That's right. So the people that we saw going to check their horse out would have probably been oh, in that corner. Yeah. Yeah. So we can walk down that way now. Yeah. Oh, nice. Downhill. Oh. Good stuff. That's my orange turbo power um, urgent urgent boots they're called <laughs> urgent, and they got some nice. Uh, they got all right grip on them. What are yours like? Oh yeah, flat, real, real um... flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Got the big heels in and everything. I was getting no purchase <laughs> on that whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well, so what can we say folks? Um, let's just have a look one, eh? flip, flip it around. So what can we say? A nice day out, um, nice little drive, and uh, well, I Same don't... about the company. I, well, yeah, it's always a, always a letdown, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just can't get the uh, twerking uh, male models, you see. That's what it is. Um, right. Uh, I think it's a bit of a red herring because somebody put a sign out there saying that that was going to be filled in because of the nearby housing estate they're building. But that's bloody miles away. There's no connection between that place and this place that I can see unless those little buildings are a little bit too close to comfort for over there. Now maybe where people are getting their, their facts wrong is maybe they want to hide the entrance on that side near the houses that maybe doesn't connect anymore um, it might not be anything to do with this bit it might be a completely separate section of the tunnel that we don't know about but maybe people are getting their wires crossed and something over there is going to get blocked up but I don't think this bit is that's just a guess it's nothing to do with it and a lot of those houses have been built by now so if they were going to do something they would have done it by now so but there we are that's my guess. So anyway, on that note, um, doosh, doosh. oh, it's not working. I'll have to do this.
Footage of the tunnels in use by the telescope manufacturing company is available via the link in the descriptions below from Pathé Newsreels. Sadly, we can't use this footage here because the fees are exorbitant in order to be able to use such footage on YouTube.